Life, 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 as uh, some old shoutcaster used to say. A few guys are gonna be hyped up for this one. As we are alone life, it is on Carrington. We're gonna have to pistol bash uh, first, right? That's right, pistol bash. Again, guys, you're here with the Tomorrowland in Zagreb. And you're here with the grand final here with Rick and Tiggs giving you the coverage all day, er day, because that's how we do. It's... Are we actually going to go straight live? In fact, we are. Crush is going to pick up the first frag on the Kazar. That's a shotgun down. Now, good runners could be in a little bit of trouble as uh, Kazar is not going to be able uh, to defend this box house as he's been picked off early on by the scope of Crush. But we do see Crush getting another scope frag onto Kalixer. That's so Kurt. Those jumps there gonna look to secure that box house, but Rampage will pick up uh, Jenkis. And this is just not looking wow. Great pistol shot into Rampage, but it's all in hands of Toxic already. No, he's gonna go ahead and plant a bomb, and Toxic is not being able to stop this. And what a fantastic round. S Walker already called it. We've lost this one, but I mean, it's a, pretty much a best of one for uh, Gunrunners, whereas uh, Wild still has to win two maps. Toxic will fire off a shot, lands him on home to Norby. Crutch will confirm himself a great round there, getting himself a hat trick of oh, Rex. Great opening from Wild. He's gonna make it 1 0 on allies. Indeed, a really fantastic round there from Gunrunners and um, from Wild, sorry. Doing a really fantastic job of getting those early frags, most certainly. But I think this time they're not going to let that be so frivolous. I think they're just going to try and get themselves in their swings now, Gunner Runners. And I think you'll find that they're going to win this next round. Making the calls already. Jankers coming around, taking down Crash. That's the main scope threat taken down now. In the lover box room. Self known, they know. But is very handy with that trench gun. Pace to slow right down now. It wasn't as fast as the first round. Still with players to find and everyone's just holding position. No one is making themselves out too far, but Kalixa. The MG. It's just gonna be peeking out, nothing as of yet though. Looks like they're gonna to wanna to try and work this B site, they're not gonna go A. Stormy making his way around towards the back of the B site as well. Orby does get a frag there onto Kassar. Vs is four now, and Kalixa does get the frag open there onto Rampage. That's now a one of four versus three in favour of Gunrunners. David um, QKS as well as Norby up here for Wild. Say that Norby does get the frag there onto Swalker, making it free free. It's all Lee and Stevens now. Going to be popping off. off as QKS comes around the corner with a um, off hip fire on from the Thompson. To down Calixa is now gun runners two players toxic and jankies with the three of a while but as soon as I say that the MP44 is too strong for QKs does take him down it's now David and Norby again uh, for while as Stormy does take a few M1 Garand shots around the corner Jankies and Norby uh, Jankies and Toxic do need to try and work this together sitting tight in the lower box room it would appear Those fakes, Jankis does get the frag onto Stormy. Jankis coming around, they're getting the frag onto Norby as well, and that's going to be some fantastic cover and fire. And the next round going to Gunrunners. Got a little bit scared from Gunrunners there because they did have a 22 with the bomb planted. Luckily, they did close it out. So, we do continue into the third round of the grand final. Tomorrowland. It's uh, kind of come raining through this time now. Early uh, picks are uh, there as uh, as Walker's gonna do his famous jump once more. Chink is there in support as well. So uh, well, we're uh, gonna be slowly beginning their assault. Page still needs to smoke it up though. And. Uh, Norby in the latch there, gonna fire off those shots, but 
nothing connecting at all. Nades do come raining through. It does land onto uh, QCAS, courtesy of Killixer. Once again, goes to PK. Spots a player on B bomb, kind of calling it out to his teammates. But Kazar has come alive, picks up Rampage. Two, three on five, two on five. Kazar will uh, get himself a second frag of the round. Still only dead. Jay uh, will get himself a return frag. Going to be picked off by Killixer. All in the hands of Norby. No uh, shut eliminated. down Killixer, but Eswalker will be there on the latch. Shutting down Norby. 2 1 your score. And can't call <coughs> out anything just yet. A good commanding. Uh, round there from gun runners making it known that they're not here to muck around, they're here to win land. And I believe this is something that they are most certainly going to do. Very standard setups from everybody here. It's going to be a very tough place to attack here as QCAS gets himself heavily, heavily tagged up. No tag, but uh, Tox is going to open up the frags onto QCAS with Rampage coming in with that trench gun, taking down Kassar, winning that trench gun battle. It's four versus four now. Oh, and Swalker. S Walker does kill Rampage, but Calixa does kill S Walker as well with a headshot. That's going to be a team kill. That's going to make it free apiece here for the players. Not an ideal situation at all, but I don't think Gunrunners are going to be bothered by that one. Shots come rattling off as Calixa is heavily tagged by a grenade that's thrown out towards the pack there. Seeing one come very close, and he's going to go jump himself on the MG. <sighs> Crashed, you saw him as well. Calixa thought he wasn't. Well, then he was, but it's all up to Toxie and Jankies now, but these boys done it before. Stormy Crash G and Norby still up here for Wild. Have to still get the bomb down, Toxic and Jankies. Proned in the houses respectively, waiting. If someone is going to be planting the bomb, and the bomb does go down on the back, but Jankies does pick up the MP44 frag. On to Crash G, it's now 2 versus 2. Stormy and Norby still up. They're going to start making their way in together, Jankies and Toxic. Norby does get the M1 Garand frag onto Jankies and Toxic with it all to do with a 2 versus 1 clutch situation. Heavily tags, but doesn't get the frag. Norby's going to be coming around the corner there at any given moment. Toxic though, does see him. Oh, and he's playing a game with him there. And he does, oh, can't seem to get the frag. Wasting time. But Toxic does finally get David, but Norby's going to fall right back. Not going to have too much time on the board, unfortunately, to uh, muck around with getting any frags. He's gone for the tickle on the bomb. But he's just going to go with the time, and he's going to peek there and gets the frag. Go for his kill death ratio, no problems, but he's not actually going to get the defuse, and that's unfortunate, but a really solid round there from Wild. Make it 2 score. Allies win. I can guarantee you this is Wild Maps. Uh, this is the Wild Map, to be honest, because... Yeah, they did. They were already warmed up from it uh, from the Golden Wild team, so it only makes sense to uh, pick Karen's hand. So, uh, gun runners have been uh, sitting there and watching their game, so perhaps we're gonna see a second map here. As it is 2 2, it's already looking promising for a while, especially on attack. Toxic will uh, throw out the nades. Frags as of yet, S Walker. Uh, the steel grenade as well. Five man up for both the teams. Let's see uh, what well they're up to. Perhaps gonna make their way towards the uh, near or mid side. Gonna see to uh, open up something here. Uh, a lot of wild players just proning towards the MG house. They don't want to get spotted there. Calixer, I guess, does get tacked up from uh, the grenade frag. Norby will land it onto Calixer. That's an opening that Gunners cannot afford, and there we go, Norby will drop S Walker, Kazar being picked up as well, Rampage onto Toxic. Jenkins is in a 1 on 5, being dropped immediately there by Crutchy. Fantastic round from Wild Gaming coming out, still 4 man up, and that's quite impressive. 3 round, 3 rounds in, 3 2 actually, sorry for uh, Wild Gaming. I'm going to watch Crudged here. I'm going to see what this boy does early doors. He does have the scope in hand. He's going to see if he can get anyone on the cross. No one seems to be crossing there, but he does get himself heavily tagged up with a grenade, but Norby is going to be the first one down here for Wild as S-Walker. 
against the frag. But Davey coming round there on while taking down Toxic. A great work there from him. The four players up right now. Being rattled off, smoke shots, all sorts. The dramatic pace has slowly but surely dropped. Kassar is sitting in towards the lower box areas. Kassar, S. Walker, Jankis, as well as Kalixia are still up. They got a lot going here. Kassar, these one, you know, area. Doesn't play too aggressive, give his position away. The play it tight, knows what he needs to do. Kalixia taking down a rampage with that scope. He has had a fantastic lineup in Kalixia. But Kassar does get shut down by the Thompson of Q. Who cares what Calixa quickly revenging his fallen teammate? Getting the revenge frag. Make 2 3 2. Favour of Gunrunners, but as soon as I say that, S Walker does get the frag onto Kratz and it's all up to Stormy. S Walker, Jankis, and Calixa combined. And he's only going to go as far as Jankis because he's going to get the frag and he's going to make it 3 3. And a really, really good defence here from Gunrunners. It's tit for tat, and um, they are really, really enjoying the Call of Duty at the moment here at Wild. Gunrunners here to stop him. Gunrunners really need to get all the remaining rounds in, otherwise it's going to be very tough for them on the attack. So we continue with the seventh round here. Frags as of yet. See uh, Crutcher being picked up by Calyxus Nate. Scope dead. Nate being pinned down there uh, behind the wall. Gonna wait for his teammates to rescue him. Norby in fact is on top of her. Uh, the sniper house on the jump towards the dust land attack, but not the frag onto Galixer. See if he can do something of this. Gonna have to be careful not to uh, fall to his death, to be honest. So uh, Kazar will uh, drop rampage three on five. Meanwhile, so do you see? Uh, he just jumping around there. Minute left to play with. Uh, Stormy. And there as well, no even tagged up. Kazar will drop QCAS. Stop to kill it, so 2 on 4. Should be a gun when it's around, but Norby will shut down Kazar. 2 on 3. Seconds left on the clock. Norby will chuck out that nade towards back B. Something out, Stormy is gonna hold the back. Leave it to Norby to shut down Jenkins. And if Norby can get this bomb down, they might be able uh, to pull around in the back for Wild Gaming. Norby does spot the player there in the form of Toxic. It's all on to Stormy, and the clock is just taken away. Allies eliminated. Not having any of it. That's what will shut down Stormy. 4 3. A little bit close there, though. Indeed, but um, another side of the display there from um, gun runners, like you said, they're going to need all of the rounds here um, if they stand any chance on the attacking side. I don't think they're going to attack as well as Wild have. They've done a really, really solid job on attacking so far. As present moment in time, the scores are pretty good here for gun runners. No clear winner. The only frag is going to come from Kassar with that trench gun taken down Rampage. And Qkes is going to get a grenade kill onto Kalixa. That's the scope advantage being taken away from Gunrunners again. Heavily tags up here. Krasji very, very close to dying, but doesn't actually die. He's going to get himself reloaded and sorted out. And Norby's going to get a frag down onto Toxic. Watching the back there is Stormy. Does take down Kassar, but S Walker ready to take down Krasji. 2 versus 3, S Walker and Jankers. Stormy, QKs and Norby still to find. Bob has now been planted. Stormy gets the frag onto S Walker. Tags coming out, no frag there from Jenkins. They know exactly where he is now. They need to know where the other two are. Gonna be a very, very intense round. If I was him, I'd just jump down, try and defuse the bomb straight up. No problems. Win the games. Not looking likely. <laughs> Oof. Sold by Morby. 
That's um, Stormy coming down to get in the frag. And they're going to make it 4 4 and a great attacking display here from Wild. And we do see uh, Bone Daddy in the stream and uh, stream chat as well. The manager for Wild Gaming, he's going to be incredibly proud watching uh, Wild Gaming go still all even. Stevens on the attack of Carantan. Crutch will drop Kazar. Just immediately kind of put Kalimus in a bad situation because so he's going to even the odds into Normie. Never mind that. Kalimus has been dropped from uh, two cast nades. Two uh, grenade frags already. From Wild Gaming. A swap could spot a few players over there. Going to check a nade over right now. Afford to lose any more rounds as Walker will shut down Rampage. A nice headshot in. I guess it's gonna go ahead and plant the bomb. It's gonna be tested by Jenkins. You guessed it, land the frag onto S Walker. Two on two. Toxic and Jenkins remain. There's a Stormy and Crutchet. Bombs be planted by Crutchet. Which could very well work out into the favor of Wild Gaming. So we do see Toxic approaching the bomb. But Cameron is on the back foot with the clock ticking away against their uh, advantage. Wow, Stormy and Crutcher go huge, picking up the another round for uh, for Wild Gaming. So make it five four. Wild take the lead on attack once more. Display from them in the grand final of Tomorrowland. Indeed, and a really, really great attack. This is, you know, if you want to learn how to play this map, then it, you know, make sure you tune into the vods that Rick is going to be stream and um, going to be putting up within the next week or so on his YouTube account. Make sure you subscribe to that, as well as following the stream. In the tags, no frags. Tags again. Finally, with the third tag, Kassar does open up there, and Kalixa does get an MG frag down to Crash as well. That's Norby and Crash down. You can there to mop up a few scrag things there from Kassar. He gets himself shut down. And that's going to be a 4 versus 3 situation in favour of Gunrunners. Glixer Jankis, S Walker, and Toxic still up. Just going around with the Thompson, getting the frag down to Glixer, but Jankis quickly does him up at the end. Page and Stormy steals a go. Rampage picks up one frag, but again Jenkins is there to mop up the pieces, taking down Rampage. It's all up to Stormy at 1 versus 2, Toxic versus Jenkins. These two are always the last two are up. See what he does here is if he goes and decides to plant. Let's fake the bomb. So he's over at A now. Oh, and he's going to be playing a game of cat and mouse. He's going to expect the push. I think uh, very much going to go getting himself that bomb down on that B site. Yeah, on the B site, most certainly. He's going to plant himself right at the back. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, toxic knows exactly what that uh, what Stormy was thinking. Let's get the bomb down. And he's going to get down straight away. And that's going to be the defuse here for gun runners. They're going to make it 5-5 five, five the score. I do very think... Yeah, sorry. Explosions no, I was just going to say, a very close game we've got on our hands here, Rick. Yeah, but I do think gun are just going to have to cut their losses and start focusing on the next map. Because five rounds already in on the attacking side for wild gaming is just... Incredibly impressive on the attacking side, and if they do get one more round in wild gaming, they are just gonna win this map really easy. I mean, these shoot so, nades are kind of come raining through. Gun runners don't fall for it. Just will be uh, watching the whole house. They just gonna some pre-firing there, but wild gaming are gonna opt to go towards the MG house. Just gotta go for an A plant. Still has that smoke gonna be proning, so he won't get spotted. Hit house stairs, QCAS gonna go looking together with Rampage. Rampage is actually gonna go in front of him. He's the man with the shotgun, gonna toss out his smoke, which will cover up the mid house. And make the jump, no opening practice of yet. We're almost there. And on the one minute, which will go on through. Actually, in the MG house to contest it. <laughs> Quick MG pickup, but 
Norby will open up onto Jenkins. Norby has cut control over this mid house, which is a good thing. Game could well take this round as QCAS and Stormy will both drop Toxic and Aswalker. Galix is the only one to reply on the Rampage, which is a little bit concerning. 2 and 4. Sir, uh, being tagged up so heavily and fragged by Norby. Norby really playing well on this map. QCAS is gonna go ahead and plant the bomb. Kazar is being tagged so hard. Still, we will pick off Kazar. 6 5. And this is a dreaded score for Gunrunners. As I said, they're gonna have to cut their losses. And Perhaps gonna be focusing on the next map because they do need to win just one as well. You need to win two. Yeah, but the motivation is definitely gonna be with uh, Wild right now. They think they can win this one with such a fantastic score here on Carantan 6 5. All on to have. And it could well be 7, we don't know just yet, but Norby getting himself heavily tagged up. But um, Crash Gear opening it up onto, onto Calixa. That's the scope battle going in his favour, and that's going to be the first pen down here for gun runners. As Kassar does take down Norby with the trench gun. Breeze gun coming out from Cassez uh, as well as Kazjir picking up another frag there onto S Walker. Toxic heavily spraying there, and Jankis does finally get a tag and a frag onto Rampage as a headshot through the smoke. David, Kukes, as well as Crash Gear still to find. And the explosives have been planted, and Kukes is going to make his way up into the boxes. He's just going to sit tight, wait for that bomb to go down, and Crash Gear thrown behind a sandbag. Oh, they can see his gun. Oh, you can see his feet as well. His feet up there. <laughs> Seeing his feet curling themselves up for some reason. But Crash Gear making him being a right nuisance because they can't really push him. But David does get the frag there onto Toxic and it's all up to Jenkins now. One versus three, bomb is down. Not looking likely. Does get the first frag though onto Crash Jeep. No second frag though as Stormy is sitting there and that's a 7 5 score line here for Wild and Wow. Fantastic stuff here from him. Gun runners saying good half, as it is a good half, and a really good display here from Wild, taking 7 5 on attack. Just uh, showing us how it's played. These gun runners are now well on the back foot. They are on the unfavorable side with two hands down. Hmm. Uh, not looking very likely, but perhaps we're gonna see an amazing attack from gun owners as well. But I don't think Wild are gonna let uh, let slip this one. Alexa is gonna go uh, for a fast peek to just spot the first player, but couldn't land that frag. So he knows now that the box house is gonna be occupied. Rampage will uh, cover the whole house, proning down that stairs. Yukas, in fact, put the MP40 on uh, the box house. We've seen in that him up that before. So, Karcha will be Qcas uh, a little bit out. Yeah, holding the mid stairs. Stormy is going to be uh, meeting up with the Gunrunners uh, player anytime soon here. Kazar will be uh, picked off by uh, Stormy. Stormy getting another frag onto S Walker. Great display there from uh, Stormy. And just three more players left alive. Couldn't see of Stormy, to be honest. Toxic. Gonna go and clear the basement. But I do feel it's gonna be an uphill struggle for Kunrunas. Uh, so, so we'll uh, try and open up something. Toxic goes down to Normie. Kalix had just heard the reload of Stormy. And there's position, but the shotgun is there as well. <laughs> and it's just not gonna happen for Gunners, I do feel. It's a 2 on 5, Jink has been tagged up now quite heavily as well. Rampage will pick off Killixer. So uh, Jink is thus coming in with a return frag, but it's a 1 on 4 here on Karen 10. The grand finals. The pressure is on for Jink. But the time is taken away, and it's not very likely he will do. Nowhere near the bomb side, and it's over for this Allies round. Eliminated. It's gonna be 8 5. Cratch will uh, put him out of misery, nevertheless. Three round lead for Wild Gaming. <laughs>
be honest with you, Rick, I'd like to say that I saw that round by eight and literally I just woke up and my face was on my keyboard. <clears throat> As rock and roll, mold hit, having a fantastic display, it's 8 5 this current score. A really, really solid attacking display here. Really, really good. And they're going to get the opening break there for Kassar, and Norby is going to be sitting in there waiting for Wild. Getting themselves a frag as well as Stormy MP44. SG is down. That's no problems because Rampage is there with that trench gun. Jenkins is going to take him down as well. S Walker and Calixa up here for gun runners. Where S Walker is now, he's um he's jumping. Oh he's fallen. Has fallen. Travelling away now though. Shots being rattled off but no connections. Calixa still there though, but Rampage getting the frag down there. It's all very it's all down to Calixa. But Norby comes around with the MP44 headshot, and that's gonna be 9-5 the score, and this is looking like a wild map. I think gunrunners already feel that and I don't know, I just I just don't think they're gonna be too bothered about it as they have got that one map advantage already because they did win the uh, winner bracket final so perhaps we're gonna see a more comfortable map as a second map but still do it as Jenkins and uh, Kazan will both get two grenade frags and it's all uh, being picked off by uh, one of the wild members so, Try and go pushing a lovely shot there onto Rampage. Go and even the odds tank is onto Norby. Stormy's been picked off. Fantastic round there from uh, Gun Runners. It's gonna make it 9 6. Interesting. Good little round there from Gun Runners. Is that the uh, little bit of a light there? I feel as if Wild are definitely going to take control of this. They're going to get an opening frag here with a grenade, I think. Potentially. I could well be wrong. Oof, nearly. But um, Jankers is going to open up there onto Crash Jeep. Oaks and grenades are out here for gun runners. They're going to want to try and get themselves into a bomb site, but Stormy. And in their way in for the push in by the MG gun. Not actually on it. But he's acting like one. He's in a right turret at the moment. He's a 14 to 7. Toxic, X Walk, Grand Jank is Calixa still up here for gun runners. Stormy Rampage, Kiez, and Orby still up here for Wild. Very much slower now. Early frags came out, and now they're playing it very, very slow. And Jukes out onto Jenkins. Gets the tag and the frag onto Jukes. Really, really well played there from S Walker. Jumping in through the window like Batman. Spider Man. MP44. Toxic though. Going down Norby. Three versus two. Wild. Players built up, but it's David and Rampage, two players that are more than capable of clutching, most certainly. Toxic S Walker and Calixa are certainly going to make their way rounds towards the A site now. Rampage knows this, coming in round the back. David getting the tag, but no frag, but Toxic giving the covering fire. Rampage. Is going to go up into the house. Movement. Does get the MG frag style points for him. No, but Calixa after that knew exactly where he was. 9 7 the score. Gun runners potential comeback on? Perhaps. It was a little bit unlucky from Stormy not uh, getting that frag on the A bomb side. If he would have got that, then the round would have surely went into the hands of Wild Gaming as he would have shut down the planter in the nick of time. So we do continue the 17th round here. So far, gun runners are going to be uh, looking for a slower approach. And, uh, it has just been working out well for them. Hilda Wild Gaming are two rounds up in the grand final, can't stress it enough. The pressure is on for both teams. 
Uh, it's gonna go picking with the shotgun. Ooh, being fracked by uh, QCAS there. And uh, gun runners are in the back food as uh, their shotgun is down. Perhaps that's Walker. Uh, will be the one to open up something here. Dust land tag, not the frag. Oh, to uh, Stormy there. Dust land onto QCAS. Fantastic stuff from uh, S Walker. Only that great shot as well. Skarant. One minute left, but Rampage comes around with the shotgun, shutting down Ass Walker. The hopes are slowly dying for Gunrunners to uh, take this round in. So, Rampage will only confirm that, getting himself another frag onto Jenkins. Kellex uh, missing that shot onto uh, Stormy. <clears throat> All in the hands of Toxic. Has to go big. It's a 1 on 4, but. It's gonna happen, he will shut down Stormy. Three more players to find, but he's got so little time to play with. He's been picked off by Rampage himself, getting himself a hat trick of frags. 10 7 your score. And uh, well, Gaming do finally pick up another round here on the board for the defensive side. I'm interested to see here. I'm gonna watch Norby. Norby's doing. Sitting in tight with the MP44, making sure no one crosses. No uh, early frags coming out there from QKs. That MP44, or MP40, sorry, doing a little bit of work there, taking down Jankers, but Toxic taking down Norby, who's a bit overzealous and plus get the peak and the headshot there with the Garand. Our Toxic, S Walker, and Calixer still up here for gun runners. David Rampage and QKs, as well as Crazy G. Still up here for Wild. Very, very quiet as Walker does get a frag there onto Crazy G. Just being fired off and Gunrunners Toxic get himself a frag and Kassar as well onto a Rampage. And Kassar's having a torrid time trying to kill QKs as he comes around, so Toxic comes around and finishes up the job for him. That's going to be 10 8. Interesting though. Mm. Gunrunners do seem to uh, pick up some rounds on uh, attack. They've got three so far. But. Kinda have to pick up eight. Total on the uh, other side. So five more rounds to go for them. But it's gonna be the 19th round here as. Uh, well, do uh, seem to be approaching. Uh, the map point. Well, as well put up a incredibly strong resistance here. That's, uh, no opening frags as of yet. So I've got that smoke uh, disadvantage there from uh, red page being thrown out there. Which will be uh, holding uh, the whole house as he uh, pretty much usually does. QCAS, this time picking up the car, 89k. Box house, one more minute left, still nothing happening. Solving the mids there, Stormy will uh, fade it out on the MG house, but to show what gunrunners want to be doing, I mean, time is really ticking away and they're gonna have to make their move, they're just nowhere near the beat, near the, any, any bomb site. Zara's gonna finally move up, lead the team, hoping to be an example. He does shut down Normie, 30 seconds left on the clock. We do see them pushing in a lot of faster. Kazar will gonna be uh, smoking it up. Toxic will shut down Rampage. And there's Stormy over at that. A to perhaps cause the upset. He will get the first track of the ass walk. He's gonna switch his pistol with Kazar. Will drop in 10 seconds on left on the clock. Kazar has to make the plant. If he goes down, it's gonna be a wild game around. But the bomb has been planted. QCAS does come up huge. Picking up Toxic and uh, Kazar. But I do feel Gunners will pick up this route as the bomb has been planted. And Jenkins is in a fantastic spot to stop any diffuses from happening. He will drop Crutch 8. QCAS, your last man. He's got Jenkins and Calixa to find, and surely he can't do this. 
bombs taken away. Try and find something, but Jenkins will uh, cover the back of that. Uh, so what else could it come to? Watch Calixa will get the frag into QQS. 10-9 your score. And we're all back even nearly. Wow, I, I surely didn't expect Gunnerness to be uh, playing this well on attack here in Carrington. Me neither, but I'm gonna take it away with S Walker. Yeah, now he gets himself into some really interesting positions with his jumps. It's really, really fun to watch. Watched him just for a moment there. He gets himself in like, a really nice situation just to help cover the team. It's it's good to see, definitely. Definitely, frag there does come on from Jankis though. But I mean. These positions can pay dividends for Jankis. Taking down Rampage as well. What a nice double kill there for him. The Toxic. Getting done there by Christ Jeep. A Calixa doing work on Christ Jeep with uh, Stormy coming around, taking down Kassar. It's 3 versus 2. S Walker very high up, and Calixa is actually going to get the bomb down as well, planting very, very deep on the right hand side. But Stormy was ready there and waiting. It's lucky. Covering fire wasn't that great there from Gunrunners, but um, this next round is going to be absolutely crucial. They need this one. As Norby comes around and does take down Jankies. Bomb does get faked there by Swalker. Swalker does get the frag there onto, onto Stormy, but there with the headshot, that's going to make it 11 9. It is. The nitty gritty stages as we do approach it. Two round advantage for a wild gaming. They do seem to keep it, but it was a close call. And I do think if uh, Gunnarunas would have picked up that round, we would have seen that uh, time out as Toxic and Jenkins will get two early kills onto Rampage and Crouch. He pushes on. He will start to put a lot of pressure on B. QCAS is there, but he's pushed by Jenkins and Kazar. QCAS goes down. And Stormy and Norby with it all to do. Got with Stormy as he does land the tags. To Kazar, killing certain. No frags being given, though. No. Trouble. Norby has just been picked up from the back by Toxic and a fantastic wide bush there from Gunwinners. 11 10. Will we see a timeout? Tactical timeout from Wild Gaming? No, I don't think yeah, so. He's stopping that momentum just yet. We've got 230 people tuning into our stream at the moment, Rick. Great news. But, um, Gunrunners, oof, Kirlix, uh, opening up there onto Rampage. It's a fantastic scope shot there from him. MG, they know where one is. No doubt going to be Stormy up there. Was. <laughs> Quickly moved his way over towards B site and um, 5 versus 4. As soon as I say that though, QKS picks himself up a cheeky double kill, taking down Kazar and Jankis. But S Walker coming round and does take him down. Now got to go itself back down to a 3 versus 3. Wild. Life. A little bit dangerously at the moment. Don't want to let a team like Gunrunners in. S Walker does get shut down there from Norby. It more so in favour of Team Toxic versus Calixa. Looks as if they could be going and making their way towards a site. Made. Someone has heard them in towards the A site. See? Very, very slow play. They're moving together. Do need to try and get right back. They do need all clear on the western front up from that MG house. Bigs are getting himself heavily, heavily tagged up. No frag though. Seconds left, not a lot. Go. Calixa does find the frag there onto Crash G and they need to get this bomb down now. Toxic does get the frag there onto Norby though. And the frag's coming round. MG tags. David versus Ooh. David versus Toxic. Gonna have to push him. Has to push him. 
otherwise it's going to be a simple game of cat and mouse. Bomb is very much planted here. Oh, bomb is very much planted here for toxic as well. Hundred percent. Playing the time well. And Toxic picking up the frag there onto Stormy and that makes it 11-11 and Gunrunners really needed that round if they stand in any chance of winning this one and these next two rounds are going to be absolutely pinnacle to who wins this match. This is indeed a grand final of which we hope to have. Gunrunners is completely silencing me now by uh, saying that we should cut their losses. Still one game, we could still get it. Jenkins uh, and Kazar are just gonna pick off uh, Stormy and Crutch. Eh? Which uh, is gonna put Gunners well up in the advantage in terms of uh, players on the map. Game, we are truly in the back foot. As it's... This Rampage will be uh, holding the MGRs with the uh, shotgun. Cast over at the box house, Norby. A top he did player there so he's just gonna wait for him to approach him so perhaps Kazar is gonna be looking around with the shotgun gun winners not taking any chances because they do want to get a counter frack in once one of their players dies they do want to get that man up there's two men up in fact they're gonna get from Smith's side they're gonna meet up with the wild gaming player so uh, Jenkins will shut down Norby too, guess who gets picked off as well, great performance there, Jenkins will uh, get to mop it up, Rampage goes down, it's going to be match point for Gunrunners. Will, uh, wow. Gunrunners uh, be the land winners of this war? I'm, well, they keep on getting the rounds like they have been, Gunrunners really doing a fantastic job here in the moment, getting them themselves the early frags. But uh, none just yet. I feel as if these early frags are going to be absolutely essential, but um, Wild are very much going to be um, playing very, very tight. There was any breathing space. Watching their angles, they're not going to be shown there. Okay, so just getting that bomb down as and when they can here, gun runners. Plain and simply, that is what it's going to be. Though. Always gets himself in little places where he get to. He's there trying to get a little advantage as and when. Our fire is there from Rampage, and if he does jump into boxes, he's going to find himself two players potentially. And QK's there waiting, ready for S Walker. A very aggressive play there from Rampage onto the take down Toxic. And Rampage getting the frag there with QK's mopping up there onto Kassar. It's now two versus four in favour of Wild. Coming round and QK's going absolutely mad, picking himself up a four man. A really great play there from QK's. And that's going to make it 12 to 12 in overtime on the first map on Carrot Turn in this grand final of Tomorrowland in Zagreb. Wow. <laughs> Over time, but Gunrunners are going to be on the defense. So surely they've learned about uh, while the uh, how well are attacking. But we'll see. Wow, that that body was just glitching out a little bit, but hey, ML3 is uh, gonna be set. Once again, guys, thank you for all tuning in. If you haven't followed the stream already, please do so. We will be streaming more Call of Duty 2 and 4 matches in the near future. As we will continue with the grand final of Tomorrowland. Misha and Zekrap. So, Gunrunners are now on the defense here on Karen San. Well, 999, but hey, we're all back up once more. We do continue with this over time. Gaming. Attack. 
Mage with the shotgun. They're gonna go for a fast beat plant, perhaps. Mage can check out a nade and a smoke. Mage is gonna go and clear this uh, box inside as uh, Aswalker will shut down Norby. Lovely shot there from Rampage onto Aswalker. Gonna continue to push. Hands up. Killixer will find the frag. Feel like a wild game around this. They are a man up. This is gonna go ahead and plant the bomb behind the B bomb side. No nades are gonna come out from uh, Runners. Rampage has spot another player there. Gonna go pushing. Kazar's been tagged up so heavily there. Rampage so missing those uh, pistol shots. Will uh, pick off Kazar in the back. 2 on 4 with the bomb being planted. Toxic. And Jenk is still up. Last man picks off uh, Rampage. Gonna have to go big with David and QCast to fight. Gonna have to QCast will finish them off. First round on the board for Wild Gaming. And this is looking very promising for them. Ideally, if they can, Gunrunners need to try their hardest to get themselves a 2-1 score here. Really do need the 2-1. Uh, and then just do a great attacking display like they did last time if they stand any chance of winning this one. Grenades going out here from uh, Wild though. I'm going to see what these guys have got in store. Turned off here by Jankies, but not connecting to anything. He's currently holding that MP44. Cool. Interesting grenade coming out there from uh, gun runners. I'm gonna throw that over. Thanks with no frags. Very, very slow pace this one. I'm oh, gonna try have some kind of peak, I'm certain of it. They're gonna wanna try and get a peak before they go onto any bomb site whatsoever, but um, gun runners just need to stay tight. Don't show themselves unless they absolutely have to. Make themselves known that they are watching the sites nice and tight. And it could well be a middle rotate. First rank currently coming out is Calixa on to Crash G. As soon as Calixa repeats again, he's got two or three people shooting and then that's Norby who's going to get the frag. Oh, S. Walker though going to get the uh, frag on to David but quickly shut down there from Rampage. Going to have to start rotating. Three versus three. Rampage. Round but Norby getting a frag out onto Toxic. It's two versus two and Kasar gets a frag onto Norby with QKs. Opening up there onto Jankers. Ah, oh, now. Oh, he does get the frag there onto Rampage with QK's rare to mop up, and that's going to be 2 4. Or 2 0, sorry. Oh. This, is, uh, this is a pleasant surprise. I did say before we uh, started the match, you guys didn't hear that, that we are going to be looking like at a 10 2 scoreline, especially on the fence, but. It is not happening! People, uh, gun runners and, uh, well, both, uh, seem to be, uh, doing a lot better on the attacking side. But, uh, or are they just not just as good on the defensive side, but still 2-0 up for the Wild Gaming in the overtime. Which is impressive stuff. As, uh, QCast does, uh, get tagged up by the grenade frag. Uh, Switch or uh, will be uh, does mean well going to jump. Yeah, sitting in the box house with the shotgun toxic over at MG house as well. Currently in the house, Jink is watching the uh, house. It's so back B with the scope. B the eyes and ears. Uh, will open up onto Killix says scope down. Rampage will uh. Try and find uh, a kill to Kazar. So he's gonna be a nuisance over there. As Kazar actually comes peeking. Don't find Crutch scope dead. So we do see Rampage on the bomb. Gonna go for a plan. He will get it down. Stormy with a frag onto Toxic. Gunman is now in incredibly amount of trouble. It's all left up to Aswalker and Jenkis. Aswalker will get the frag on him to Stormy. On the back of B, but 
three more plays up for Wild Gaming. And this could well be it for uh, Converness if uh, Wild Gaming will take it away with 3 0. Does look like it. As, uh, Nobi will uh, get a nice hatch on him with his marker. Oh, in hands of uh, Jenkins, but it's not going to be. QCAS will finish him off. Jenkins goes down. 3 0. And a fantastic half there in the overtime for Wild Gaming. Oh. Well, well, well. 3 0. They needed a 2 1 at least. They had any chance, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to just start ourselves up here. I personally think Wild are going to get this next round. They're going to get a 4 0 in the overtime. Yep. That's how it's going to be. Away here with Calixa. Coop in hand. No frags as of yet, though. Looks maybe somewhat covering him. No frags either. Wild. They all they do is need to wait. Will be. Getting the tag and the grenade frag there onto Toxic. Heavily tagging up as well. Start. Very, very slow round, but Rampage does take down S Walker and it's looking good for Wild as if Rampage gets himself another frag where he is. Rampage has been cut short by Calixa. Now, four versus two. Calixa and Kassar up still. Are heavily beaten up there by the grenades as Kez does get the headshot onto Calixa. And Wild, four versus one. <laughs> and he's went and killed himself by all means. That is going to take us into a four and zero. And the next map is going to be Matt Matter.